Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We will still make it up into the mid uh, 70s this evening, up around 75, 76 degrees, then back off to 74 at 7 o'clock, partly sunny skies. 70 at 9 p.m. with 67 at 11. There's a very low chance of some spotty showers, perhaps a thunderstorm out there as we go through the evening hours and then dry conditions overnight and into tomorrow morning. And again, tomorrow afternoon, there will be a slight chance of a pop up shower thunderstorm as we see those temperatures reach the low 80s in the afternoon. Our weather headlines mild tonight, some clouds around. We'll drop off to the low 60s and then some low 80s tomorrow with that chance of an afternoon shower thunderstorm. Again, that's only about a 20% chance and that chance will continue into the evening. Then we'll be dry for the rest of the work week, much warmer. Temperatures climb up into the 80s, maybe even some mid to upper 80s showing up and then upper 80s expected this weekend and mostly dry weather. Tonight we'll see those low temperatures hit the upper 50s and low 60s across the region, about 60 in Troy, 58 Springfield, 59 in Sydney and high temperatures tomorrow afternoon expected to make it up uh, into the upper 70s, near 80 north around Greenville, Troy, Springfield, Urbana at 79 degrees. And down here in the southern part of the Miami Valley, looks like uh, we'll make it up to the low 80s here around Dayton and uh, Montgomery County, eastern Montgomery County, and even warmer on Thursday as those afternoon temperatures soar up into the mid 80s. Goodwill Auto Auction camera, a lot of cloud cover out there this evening. A uh, few breaks in the clouds, though, starting to show up. That's also allowing a little bit of daytime heating now and creating enough instability that where there are some weak pockets in the upper atmosphere, we've seen a couple of thunderstorms pop up. Well, at least a shower here uh, southeast of uh, Rocky Fork Lake. That's drifting to the northwest. There's Clinton County. So if that holds together, uh, a few spots may see a shower, perhaps a thunderstorm early this evening. Otherwise, we're expecting dry conditions overnight with the main focal point for the rain to the west of us out across Illinois and into the western Great Lakes, also down in the southern Plain States. Warm and also more humid air coming up from the south. That will continue to spread northward into the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes as we go through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Right now, 75 degrees. We have a southeast wind at 9 miles per hour. Already our dew point's getting back in the upper 50s. If you remember earlier, uh, or well, actually later last week, we were in the 20s for some of those dew point values. 53% the relative humidity with the barometer holding steady. And it's actually a little warmer up around Wapakoneta at 77, 75 Bell Fountain, 75 in Dayton and Springboro, some of the warmest temperatures in 76 over at Oxford. So again, a slight chance of an isolated shower this evening, perhaps a thunderstorm. And then we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies after that. Dry weather tomorrow morning, and then once again tomorrow afternoon, uh, we can't rule out a shower, a thunderstorm popping up, but then the rain chances really start to drop off for the rest of the week as high pressure becomes established over the southeastern U.S. And we'll just see a lot of heat and humidity building. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies. We drop down to 62 degrees. Partly sunny tomorrow. It'll be warm. There will be a slight chance of a shower thunderstorm in the afternoon as we climb up to 82 with a sunrise tomorrow at 618. 63 at 6 o'clock with 68 at 9. 74 degrees at noon. And then upper 70s, low 80s as we get to the afternoon and early evening. We're in the mid 80s on Thursday. Partly sunny skies. 87 on Friday. 80. Saturday. Very low rain chances as we go through that time frame, maybe even hitting the upper 80s on Sunday. And then rain chances start to increase a little bit on Monday and Tuesday as the cold front starts to drop down from the north, gets a little closer to us. So we'll see those highs uh, perhaps as warm as the upper 80s Tuesday, maybe turning a little cooler after that. Mark?